You're very welcome to the Leash Shopping Centre Senior Football Championship Round 2 Clash between Port Leash and Port Arlington. This game today is brought to you by Michael Moore Car Sales, based at Gary Hinch Cross, Port Arlington, main Volkswagen and Mercedes dealer. Des Hughes Motors, main Toyota dealer on the Dublin Road in Port Leash. Valley British Motors, main Skoda dealer in Leash, run by Pat and Rosemary Kyo. Port Arlington Pharmacy, based on the Link Road, for all your medical needs. John Adams Car Sales, based in Ballymacken, just outside Port Leash, main Honda and Citroen dealer. DS Sports, based in Emo, check out the half price sale online now. And today's Man the Match brought to you by Joe Mallon Motors. Why not avail of the Renault GA Club member offer? Get €250 Euro off any new Renault vehicle and used Renault selection vehicles at Joe Mallon Motors in Port Leash. Very welcome here this evening to MW Higher Moor Park for our second game of today um, in the Leash Shopping Centre Senior Football Championship um, between Port Arlington and Port Leash. I'm delighted to be joined today by Aideen Dunn. Aideen is... Um, a young up-and-coming journalist, but he's been around a few years, so and um, reporting a lot of these teams. And we'll talk to you in a minute. Delighted to have you, Aideen. I'm also joined here by the reappointed um, under-20 leash manager Eddie Kinsella. Delighted to have you, Eddie. Of course, Eddie. Line up, and as you alluded to earlier, there's a number of changes here. We're probably waiting for the for the for the Port Leash ones to come through, and we're going to look at them. Um, and the Port Leash team, um, we're expecting some changes here. We haven't got the final um, team yet to us, um, but. Um, we do have so okay so Port Leash um, and the program so Graham Brody is in goal and as we suspect Car Carl Healy isn't available and um, he's replaced by Michael Dowling Port Leash will be delighted to hear that Benny Carroll has come back from injury and he's gone in as in the full back Bert uh, obviously he won't take that position but he's replacing Frank Flanagan outside him then Gary Saunders another good player that was staunch for you already last year half back line Paddy Dowling get, Downey gets a start this time he came in as a sub last time um, Chris Finn centre back and David C. Kieran Lillis, middle of the field, not much said to be with Kieran, and he's so, um, but with Maca, Kieran McAvoy partnering him there. Damon Larkin, half forward line. Connor Boyd is back to suspension, starts at centre forward, and with Garrett Dillon outside him in the full forward line. Uh, young Jason Maher there, who was uh, an injury last year, came back. John Kavanagh um, scored two points in the last day, sent full forward, and Ricky Maher, who got three points in the last day, um, starts in the corner. Port Arrington. Scott Osborne um, in, in goal, full back line, Alex Mohan back for suspension, Dermot Bennett and Carl Bennett, Jason Moore, Robbie Piggott and Adam Ryan in half back line, Keith Bracken and Owen McCann midfield, half uh, forward line, Stephen O'Neill, David Murphy and unfortunately Rona Coffey has been replaced with late injury to Rona there, suffered during the week and replaced by Sean Byrne who is no mean substitute to come in and replace anyone. Full forward line, Jake Foster and Colin Murphy, who pulled up the last day with the injury in the second half of Port Arlington. He's replaced by Rion Murphy, another exciting young player, came on the last day, super player, and Colin Slevin. That concludes the Port Arlington lineup. That's for the two teams here in the middle of the field McCann, Macca, Lillis. Kieran goes up for breaks it down, comes straight away. Bracken. Bracken and Jason Moore to Garrett. Garrett to Lillis. Lillis, he's, going to, he's eyeing up the shot. No, not yet. Been marshalled well. Back out to Dillon. There's a burst of pace all the way through. Garrett Dillon, he's only one thing in his mind, but he pops it over the bar. Takes the right choice, Eddie. Oh, could have been a call on there, Pat. Yeah. But listen, Port Arnold have got a tight hands hand. David Murphy. David Murphy, absolutely. The wily David. Into Stephen O'Neill. Takes on the shot himself. It's going across the square. Could that come in? It does, absolutely great score. And um, when that left his boot, neither of us were confident that, that was going to go middle with the speed. He was going to give it back to Sean Byrne, he didn't. Jason stops and has a look again. Slevin on it, Colin pops it in. Adam Ryan dispossessed by, but still gets away from Lillis. On to David Murphy. And an excellent score by David Murphy. And nothing, you wouldn't, as I said, I keep saying this, you wouldn't expect anything different from David. That was straight over the middle spot. Let's see how he gets on with this one. Ricky steps up, that's just good. a couple of steps and then slick Rick straight over the bar with Ricky. No bother to him, fair to him. Um, and that's what he'll do all day for him. Um, again, Port Leash, you know, for this. Um, taking a few steps that jinkle along, like, a bit like David Conway maybe, or, but anyway, pops it along. And that's a great score, straight over the bar there. And um, Jake was, you know, against the wind, had a few frees the other night. on Mart, he thought about it. David Murphy, this one won't think about it, but he pulls it around. He's dropping Brodie's in underneath a few and then he breaks. Rian has it. Rian is aside. He got the free ball and a great little score and a great little bit of 
um, tenacious, stood around and you know watched what happened and well, pick, the picked it. Patch, Players should know by now. Stop mounting anymore. Yeah. Bring up the ball. So Jake Foster goes along and we stretch it out to five points to two. Fourteen minutes gone, heading towards the water break. Maybe Portree should be gone. An exciting little player with pass Chris Finn back to Slevin. All pacing him inside in the middle is O'Neill waiting for it, but it comes to Steve. Sean, Sean Byrne, is that a good score or what? Uh, yes. yes, the umpires say yes, and that's a great score. Worked out from what was broke down a, a bad ball. To give him a bit of um, support and yeah. wish him well in his kick. <laughs> um, but um, Jake has come in, getting those couple of little steps, so hop, shimmy, and jump, and, um, and that's good. straight over yeah, that's blue, good. the great blue score. spot. Um, excellent score. Uh, go back to the yellow card, which could put Mickey in a little bit of uh, pressure for wrestling. But just thought the yellow card maybe. He's turning with his back to goal, and you know this man. I know he was injured for you last year, a serious injury last year with a leg. But great to see him back. Yeah. Jason takes Score. the kick, and over the bar, and and Port Leash will badly have needed that, I suppose. You know what I mean to to get their game back. After the black card, after Port Leash got the black card, they responded well because that is their second point now since the black card. So yeah. they're back in the game now. There's three in it. Three points in it, yeah. Um, heading into the last five. Um, Pretty quiet here, not a sound around, strikes it score. straight over the bar, yeah. Um, Port Leash, have, since that water break, them famous water breaks, Port Leash have come out and... and yeah. Why did he? Yeah, yeah. Had, had the distance, didn't have the direction, um, and as Mick Ta um, Brendan Hickey calls half-time score, and um, we can go to, um, as I said, we had live streaming, um, do you want to think we got a message in, so, um, John, if we... Um, we want to introduce that there um, from one of the Port Arthur players out in Syria and, and David Murphy is looking at this um, experience. David um, stepping up to take this out of his hands. Um, big looper of all. It um, goes straight over the bar. Yes, well done. Um, and that stretch, stretches them out to um, eight points to five. Um, Joel Cameron did make. Seven makes up. Rion onto it now. Colin Finn trying to. Chris Finn trying to catch him, of course. Rian turns him and goes straight in. He's going straight for goal. He's opening up front of him. Has he the confidence to take it on himself? He absolutely goes to the oh. rocket. Bit low, bright. Bout of Shawnee Byrne over Chris the bar. How about that from confidence from young Murphy? Pat taking the ball here 45 yards out, carrying it in at pace. Picking up where he likes to play back around the defence. He's running into trouble. Macca comes him and he oh, seems to overcarry the ball. The ball. Um, and that was a let off for Port Leash. Lillis picks up the free, looking for the options, nothing. Jason Maher moves, Conor Boyle is on the ground. Himself and Piggott are getting to know each other still. Um, oh, Conor Boyle is up again, and Damon is in there lurking on the thing, but Kieran Lillis doesn't need anyone to what square because he puts it straight over the bar. Yeah. And exceptional score from an exceptional player, and well done in fairness to Kieran. Super score at this point in time. Can go by, and that is what he tries to jinx in around, jinx around. Come and start Paddy Downey up there. Still bottle up the throat, but Conor Boyle has it. And he pull the kick out anywhere and over so the bar he does. And Conor Boyle, the experience again, the short, he did a short kick on that, but he, he got it. Yeah. People running, Adam Ryan running. Um, it comes out this side again. They're not winning these breaks out here, but go, goes yeah, born, and that's catch. fantastic. Just as I talk it, he picks it out of the clouds to Slevin. David Murphy gone through the middle, he takes the return off him. David is looking to see what's inside, but he takes his own yeah, option exactly. and over the bar. That's exactly what Port wanted. I just have to say it a couple of seconds ago, all made by Sean Byrne. What a catch. Kick into Boyle. Boyle looking for the runner. Dylan was coming, but he chose not to take him. Paddy Downey's up here on free gingy back to Dylan back to Boyle we've called this out all day these kind of thing Boyle with Great the kick score. and over the bar Great point Conor Boyle again a little bit of a late tackle on him by Robbie Piggott that's probably to see now in direction and the length we'll see now in a minute and over the close is it Great score and that dry out throws up the match of Graham Brody 10 points each um, we're in for 5 minutes of play with it as you said this is more than just winning game for Port Arrington. Yeah, this is a big, Port, Ar Port Arrington hold on for the win here. And, and David and Murphy. Yeah, booster for them. Like David boom. Murphy puts them ahead. We've been level for a long time now with Port Leash as well as having chances which they didn't take. Jason Moore has it. They're going to hold keep ball, are they? Adam Ryan, David Murphy, they're not giving up. They're going to go for the juggler. Across to, to Jake Foster. Foster buries yeah. it in the net and that's the game seven match for Port Arrington. Great goal. Uh, great finish by Jake Foster. David Murphy done superb there. He didn't panic when he got straight through. He just picked out the extra pass and the tap in for Jake Reedy. You know, he just kind of 
And there we go again. And of course, Brody was way down the field of no one in the goals. Um, David Murphy saw the opening. Jake Foster, he ain't going to miss from there. Great finish. It's a great finish, and that's it now, Pat. I'd say. Uh, I think he's going to blow the final whistle now with great finish. And there oh, is result. the final whistle, and Port Leash are score 10 points, but Port Tarrington 111. Um, I'm not going to say against the odds because they've been knocking on the door. They were here last year, they did something similar last year. Only. Man of the Match today is brought to you by Joe Mallon Motors in Port Leash. Specialising in Renault and Dacia cars and commercial vehicles. And the man of the match for today's game was Port Harrington's David Murphy. David had a super game, scoring four points, two from play, two from freeze. This man has put in numerous top class displays for Port Harrington, but this was one of his finest and was the main reason Port Harrington overcame the town. Kudos, David.